Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra here today at C2 Tactical. Uh, before we got started shooting some pistols, I thought I would do a quick gear review and introduce you to the holster that I use literally every day. Comes from Dark Star Gear, it is for my P30, also fits a VP9, it is the Orion. Big Tech's Outdoors has holsters, accessories, optics, and other parts that you need as a self-defender. I'm one of his customers and I recommend him highly. Check out the page on our website with our favorite deals. So, a couple of things, what we always talk about, does a holster meet the requirements? There's a difference between a great holster and an acceptable holster. There's plenty of acceptable holsters out there, um, and but not too many actually for the HK P30 and or the VP9. VP9 more than P30, this holster is the only one I know of that actually fits both. And the reason it fits both is Tom was able to mold the trigger guard that fits both the VP9 and the P30, which is pretty cool. Don't have a VP9 here for me to show it to you, but it does click in. So a couple things I want you to notice here, you can hear, clicks into place, right? But not crazy amounts. Uh, you can actually adjust the retention a little bit by adjusting these uh, uh, screws if you want to. So it does the things that a holster needs to do. Number one, covers the trigger guard completely. And you can see here on the back side, it is complete. There is no way to get your finger inside there. Number two, holds the gun securely. And we do that by turning it upside down, not squeezing it into the holster and giving it a light shake when it's an unloaded gun, right? So we just see, can it hold itself in the holster? I don't want it to be so secure in there that I couldn't pull it out or that I have to really rip it out, but I do want it to have just a little bit of holster retention. That's important to me. And does it allow access to the firearm reliably? So that's the last one. Number one, I can get a full firing grip here. You can see that the way that he has his um, claw set up, I can still get my fingers completely around this gun here and get a full firing grip on it. Also, I love soft loops. You can get this with a clip if you want. He does sell it with the discrete carry concepts clips um, <clears throat> or a, a mono block or I love soft loops, man. I just am a soft loop fan. It allows just a little bit of flexibility when I'm wearing the gun appendix. And uh, those are adjustable height. So you can adjust the right height here to make sure that it clears your belt so that you can get a full firing grip. So this does all three things that a holster needs to do. Secondly, though, it does a bunch of things that a holster doesn't have to do to be acceptable, but it does it to do make a holster great. Number one, again, I love a, uh, a claw. And what the claw does here is, is it pushes the butt in. So, you know, your belt fits across here. And what this does, what this claw does, is that it pushes in on your belt, which pushes the muzzle in. So what it doesn't do is that, again, if, if uh, it's sitting out like this, then when I put my shirt over it, you can see this big butt of the gun sticking out. What this claw does is it actually draws that in this way so that I don't get as much of that. And when I'm carrying it concealed, you can see that. So it's got a claw on it and a good claw. It is a very compact claw, so it's not sticking way out of the gun. Second thing that it has here is a, this one has a wedge. Now, of course, you could put any wedge you want on it and, and a, appendix carry is a very personal thing. In fact, I don't even want to take this off and show you, but it's just Velcroed on and this particular wedge is a very kind of uh, firm foam wedge that I use all the time and I love it. This gun also is cut and has a little bit more room here, so it's a little bit higher of a sweat shield which keeps the gun off you a little bit. I live in Phoenix, it's hot. And so a sweat shield's important even though I wear an undershirt. And it is cut for an optic and for uh, suppressor height sights. So the fact of the matter is I run uh, a gun with an optic on it and suppressor height sights as a backup sights. So it has that on it as well. You don't have to get it in red. Uh, Tom just sent me this one in red and that's fine for me. I don't care because I stick it down my pants and I never look at it. But you can get different colors in those things too. So uh, this is the holster that every time you see me working pistol stuff here on the range, you see me in this holster. Uh, and I will show you kind of how I put it on and take it off. Pretty simple actually. So, so I use a, a Wilderness Tactical uh, Low Pro Belt. And I just loosen that guy up a little bit. This is one of the reasons that I love soft loops is because this gun will come off my body without coming out of the holster and go in my quick access gun safe so that I never have to worry about impinging the trigger and having a negligent discharge. So what I do here is I simply put my fingers here so that these come down. I, I pull out like this, put the gun down my pants and the uh, soft loops in between. So again, the gun has never come out of the holster. It's been a holstered gun the whole time. Clip these together tighten my belt like I like it and now the gun goes away. So this is the, the holster that I use all the time, what you're going to see me in every class wearing, what you're going to see me here on the range wearing. Dark Star Gear Orion for the P30 or the VP9, Mwah! delightful.